Hello everybody and welcome back to a slightly warmer and sunnier vlogmas. Happy 60th birthday present. You've practically finished that hot chocolate in the time I've turned my camera. <laughs> Mum's got here very, very traditional hot chocolate. And I was just saying now, I don't think anywhere in the UK when you ask for a coffee would literally just serve you two, two espresso shots without hardly any water. Well done. Finish that. Finish that in a hurry. Definitely had the right idea here um, with your shades. You remember the back shades, and if you go outside, I literally cannot see at all. We're in a place called Plaza del D U Q U E Duke. I call it Duke. Which is this really nice shopping centre. We haven't really looked around at the moment, but it's three stories. But obviously, you can't go through the airport with hairspray. So the first thing we had to do was pick up some hairspray because we both we both did, have you put it on me again. No! This is au natural mud. This is natural! I just really need to pick up some shades because... You forgot to pack them. What were we like yesterday, Mum? What? Huh? What were we like yesterday? Zombies. God, we left about 3 o'clock in... No, sorry, we woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Left at 4. We left at 4. We got to Tenerife about 12.30. And then we crashed out on the, on the beds in our apartment. Twice twice and yeah we woke up for a bit fell back asleep and didn't wake up until six o'clock <laughs> you've got to tell them about my my experience well, have you told them with the guy yeah so we didn't change our british pounds before we left and we were going to change them over here because mum's brother said that you can get a much better conversion rate whilst you're here and we didn't have any water at all we can't pay in pounds said, oh, okay, well, where can we go? Because we don't have any water and we're really thirsty. And then what did he say then? He went, he said, one moment, and he went to the office, got his wallet, and gave me a 20 euro note. And it was because he said he can't let anyone... Go without water. Yeah. And, and he said, I look a trustworthy lady. You look like a trustworthy lady. I just can't believe that. A guy that we have known for about 20 seconds, seconds. goes into the back, gets his wallet out and gives us the 20 Ten euros euro and says, yeah, I'll be here until 11 o'clock tonight. And then the funny thing is we fell asleep then for about three hours. No, not as long as that. Yeah, no, it was about three, because we got back yeah, about three. Not. Literally the first thing I thought when we woke up is that we really need to go and pay that guy back now because he was probably thinking, right, here we go. I Last tried to trust that. someone again and is that 20 euros gone? I said to him, I have never experienced that. I've never heard of anything like that. Like never. I thought Canada was really nice. Honestly James, I mean I have never ever experienced that. That's amazing. Mum, smell my coffee. <laughs> it's really oh, strong. Jay. It's literally no water. I love coffee. There's literally no water in it at all. I'm gonna be for the rest of the day like this. <laughs> so guys, uh, what are we doing now, man? What are we doing now? Oh, it's too nice to move from you then. Come there's something on your face. Stop it. <laughs> Do you want a Rolex, man? No, thank you. They can tell the time. Yeah, no, I'd rather go without it. <laughs> okay, so we've had our uh, fix of coffee. Now into the sunlight. Last chance with a Rolex, or we're gonna have to see what Santa brings you. No, I don't want a Rolex, don't you dare. I would rather about 4,000 cups of coffee. Yeah. Goodbye, Plaza Del Duke. Uh, look what's coming around, James. Oh, wow, what's this? Okay, we're not getting on this. We're about to get on the, the bus now. But look at all these Christmassy decorations going around. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I got all these Christmassy decorations going around, which I would imagine 
looks really nice when the sun goes down. I'm sorry if this vlog is ruining your Christmassy vibes because it's so sunny and everything. And just around the corner, remember there is a sign um, which tells you the temperature and it's like 25 degrees at the moment. Buddy. Okay, too Thank soon. Thank God for Google Maps because we were walking the opposite way, which is coming to like a pier. But now we turned around and we found Mame. <laughs> Mame. Mum's favourite. Wow. Ice place to have ice cream. <laughs> you got my dog. in front of you. What can you see? Oh, there it is, over there. <laughs> I didn't see that. We don't need Google Maps anymore. It's by there. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with M. M. Yeah. What do you reckon? McDonald's. Mum. <laughs> Mum. I never thought that. Would you look at that? I still can't at the moment because I haven't got my sunglasses yet. But I can watch this vlog back later. <laughs> Mum, hold my camera. Uh, I'm not really going to go through it. <laughs> Yo, that was good. fly on my leg. There's so many flies around this place and I can't get rid of them because if we open the door they all come in and then to stop them coming in you close the door but then you trap them in here. This is the one downfall of hot weather. What was I saying? I'm gonna very much regret not wearing sun cream today. I'm positive that riding a bus with mum will be back very soon because we don't have a car and the apartment that we're staying or the hotel that we're staying with they offer a free bus service to all of the different areas in Tenerife because there's quite a lot of different like shopping. Why is he attacking my ankle every time? There is a fly that keeps like flying into my ankle. I'm thinking that if I hide in the corner of the room then he won't notice me and then therefore he won't fly into me. So riding a bus with mum should be back very shortly but now I think it's time to do a holiday apartment room tour because I haven't had a chance to do that yet and then we need to pop to reception to see if they've got one of those universal adapters because we've only got one and we could do with another one and most receptions do keep a lot of them ready for us British customers. Then I can also show you the hotel that we're staying in Tenerife. Those flies have got me feeling so itchy right now. Either that or I'm sunburned. So we'll start with the toilet. It is a toilet sink and a shower. That part is never interesting with a room tour. And then got everything else. So the beds, the kitchen area, where we're eating, which is nice because when we stayed in Portugal, um, I don't think we had a kitchen, did we? No, oh no, it was just like a, it was just a few cupboards, wasn't there? But it's nice to have like a cooker and a fridge and stuff like that. The lights are not very strong in here. Two beds, two rather large size mirrors. A big old mirror, isn't they? And then the TV over here, which has about three English channels. And then, da, 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 da. a little balcony area that you can actually sit outside because it's actually set outside weather. This is also the first chance I've had to show you where we're staying because when we first got here, we were absolutely knackered. Gave me a 20 euro note in South for me to go and buy water. Ah, and then, and then I went over later yeah. when it was convenient for him. Mum, the world is going to know this story. I know! You're going to tell everyone this story. Mum, tell the story again. <laughs> I, can I sit down and tell the story? No, we've told it twice now. There's a woman over there if you want to go and tell her. I will tell everybody I see. <laughs> uh, we also, we got the travel plug as well. Yeah, my bag. All right. We can take you anywhere in the world and as long as you give you a sunbed, yeah. you're more than content, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Although if you are if you are looking to get a sun tan, you should probably be in a sun bathing outfit. <laughs> Even though the sun is actually starting to go down now. It's five o'clock 
So back in the UK, it'd yeah, it'd be dark right now, wouldn't it? Mm. And the sun is just about going down over here. It's yeah. probably just a shorter space of time that they have winter for. Yeah. You can see the sun going down behind this building that's in front of us. I'm going to take a walk down there and see if you can actually get like a cool photo or something. It looks like the sun is going down behind this building by here. Obviously, I don't know what's down here yet. Wow, would you look at that? Which I still can't because I didn't pick up sunglasses afterwards. So I'm gonna have a look when I watch the vlog back later. Wow. I guess they ran out of white paint when they started these buildings by here and developed a sun fascination for red. That's incredible. I think that's another hotel over by there. Looks like there's a swimming pool and then they're building something over here. Marvellous. I'm sliding down. I'm gonna laugh so much if she's telling that story. We're gonna have some food now. So I'm going to end this vlog here and then we're going to chill and watch whatever entertainment is provided tonight. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Bye!